Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I am on here with y'all this morning. I am about to package a sale that I made. I sold this bag on my Poshmark yesterday. I'm also going to take my Nutriburst shot. I have my coffee here with you guys for you guys. Yes, yes, yes. One of my children called me. Good morning. <laughs> She's with her daddy. So, what I like to include in my packages for my items that I sell, like I said, I sold this Chanel makeup bag. And y'all know I still have all of my businesses. I'm promoting my TLC business heavy right now because it is my newest business. Um, but my other businesses, of course, are still stable. Um, I also like to include a handwritten thank you note, which I'm going to write. And one of my cards that has my information. And matter of fact, I am going to add a TLC card in with the packaging. Trying to decide if I'm going to put them in a little envelope or not, but I don't think I'm going to. Let me go ahead and write this out. Hello, good morning, everybody. I um I am packaging up one of my orders. Let me see. I like to, um, I'm adding a little sticker to my thank you note as well, just as a reminder, that one says spread kindness, let me grab an envelope. I send my items off, priority mail. This is um, some bubble stuff that I have for packaging. Um, and let me grab a label. I need to put some more in here. I might need to order some more also. And y'all, I got little stickers for my business. This, I got my, um, I got stickers that look just like this. And then I have stickers with my Katana logo. So it basically depends on what business I'm selling for. So let me go ahead and put this in here. This isn't my standard one that I use. This is the one I use in my office when I can't get to my standard um, little label windows, but it's all right. I need to put some of my standard ones down here. I actually think I'm going to place an order for some more today because I hate just using tape. I feel like that looks so unprofessional. Got my label in there. Going to 
take, where did I put my thank you note? Oh, shoot. I just had it. Like, I literally just had it. Y'all, this office had me, oh, it's on the ground, on the floor. All right. So, take my item. And I am putting it in the padded envelope. And this, I'm not afraid of putting it in my padded envelope because it is um, soft. If it was something that was harder or needed to stay structured, I would put it in a box. I also have some envelopes that aren't padded. I might even throw some more tape around there just to ensure the seal. I don't know. I don't think that's necessary. You know what? I just did all that and didn't even put the damn stuff in there. Y'all, it's early. So I got to cut this open and do it all over again. Let me see. Do I? Yeah, I do. I'm moving too fast. I'm moving way too fast. Maybe I'll keep it in here for some added protection. And then stick it in another one. Upside down just to make sure no rain or nothing gets on it. Stick this inside here. Thank you notes. And my cards. Stick that up there. Because as much as they paid for that bag, I want to make sure that it gets to them without any stains or anything. this on the package, the label, y'all, it normally looks a lot neater than this. There we go. It's Santa's package. And I actually send my items via U.S. Postal Service put them in my mailbox and my mail carrier picks them up when he comes simple as that so now let me get down to the nitty-gritty and I am going to take my Nutribur shot this is the Nutriverse. I already have my shot poured right here. Hmm. That is great. My Nutriverse. And if y'all have any questions about the Nutriverse or would like to order, 
definitely let me know. I got some slices of watermelon. Let's see how they taste. That's pretty good. I got my watermelon. I got my coffee. In about 30 minutes, well, in about 30 minutes after my coffee, I am going to take my resolution drops. And yeah. Let me damn my order status. And let them know that it is being shipped off. Okay. But yeah, y'all. Um like I said, I own multiple businesses, so The reason I've been promoting my TLC business as hard as I have is because it is my newer business. Trust me, none of my other businesses are slacking. I just hired two more virtual assistants today. One for my Poshmark, one for my Etsy. I'm going to be listing a lot new, um, a lot more products on my Etsy today. I am doing rolling trays as well, y'all. I do customized rolling trays. That's one design um, where I um, I go in and I hand paint. Um, I do all that by hand. If you want something done with the cutter, I can do a cutter. Um, I can do that type of image, but a lot of my clients like things to be hand painted, which, you know, is a plus. That's one thing that, um, that sets me apart from some of my counterparts that do the same thing. And there are a lot of crafty people out here that do a lot of different things and it's like you don't have to worry as long as something's for you when something is meant for you it is meant for you let me hang my degree up because it's just sitting on my desk and this degree costs a lot of damn money <laughs> Sorry, y'all, I had to hang that up. I hope don't nothing make that thing fall on my head because um, that frame is heavy. And, um, yeah, that damn degree caused me to be over $100,000 in debt. So, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's why I have multiple businesses. Um, not only because of the degrees <laughs> but of course i have goals i have children and i am trying to teach them to have multiple streams of income to have residual income to have earned income to have income from stocks i i try to do all of that that way um i try to be smart about what i invest in and if it comes down to purchasing an outfit or purchasing supplies for one of my businesses, I'm going to purchase the supplies. I can get an outfit later. And I have to be able to justify buying that outfit. That, and I know that may sound crazy to some people, but I have to be able, for clothing purchases that I'm going to wear, I have to be able to justify it. Like, I have to think, okay, am I ever going to wear this again or can I resell it? Items that have lower resale value, I put them on, well, I do higher and lower. I put them on my thread up. I send them to thread up. Um, items that are a little bit older as far as more mature in style. So, 
people um, items that I get for people that are middle aged or older brands like Chico's, Talbot's, Steinmart. Well, I think Steinmart is mixed, but basically brands from companies that um, that aren't so trendy. Um, I send those to thread up. Um, trendy, trendy items and high-end items. I put them on Poshmark. Some high-end items I sell um, hand to hand, and items like household items or baby items, baby clothing I'll put on Poshmark. Some baby clothing I send to Thread Up. Um, but items, speaking of baby clothing, I gotta go and pick up some stuff today. Um, but items such as like bigger items electronics stuff like that well electronics I sell on eBay books I sell on Amazon um, and household household items and like baby bottle warmers stuff like that I'll sell on um, offer up so also the brand and quality like children's car seats and things I sell on offer up though uh, there's a big market for car seats on offer up and strollers let me see what else um, I can't think of anything else any other platforms I'm pretty sure oh Etsy my handmade items so um like my rolling trays my hand painted black lives matter earrings and stuff like that i do on etsy um i also do some things on facebook marketplace and i also sell on some of my facebook pages I got a couple other business ventures that I'm thinking about, but y'all know I'm a serial entrepreneur, so. I try to, if I, if I have an idea about something, I try to just go ahead and do it. <laughs> because I'm the type of person that if I miss out on an opportunity or if I don't do it when do something that I feel like is a good idea I'll worry about it and I'll end up regretting it and I'm the type of person that lives by the motto have no regrets so if it's something that you want to do in life do it like don't be your own worst enemy because typically we are but yeah, on that note, I'm about to go ahead and get logged in for work. I don't want them on my case today. <laughs> so, on that note, I will talk to you guys later. Until next time, peace.